that scene was the result of Shami Sheikh in March. What are the preparations ahead of that uh, conference, which is a very important one, and President Abdel Fattah Sisi said in his statement that in spite of all the uh, trials of the saboteurs and terrorists to hinder our efforts to uh, create chaos in the country, uh, not to uh, host the economic conference on time, we we'll think it will take place and it will be a success with God's will and with, support, with the support of the Egyptians. And we will we'll be shedding light also on the recent uh, visit by Prime Minister Ibrahim Mahlab to Kuwait and its economic uh, repercussions on the country to shed more light on the issue. We are delighted to have our dear guest, uh, Dr. Hussein Shariba, the planning and development expert. Good morning, Dr. Hussein, morning. and thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for joining us. Doctor, now uh, speaking of the upcoming uh, conference, it's going to be taking place on the 13th of March. A lot of preparations are going to be uh, uh, needed uh, uh, to make sure that this conference is fully successful. Tell us more about the preparations uh, needed for this conference. Well, uh, as uh, um, I'm aware of, uh, that the government is uh, really uh, doing uh, a very intensive plan. This intensive plan, uh, not only abroad of Egypt, out of Egypt, but it's in Egypt. One of the in Egypt, they are going to um, make a great conference with the ambassadors uh, here mm -hmm. in Egypt, uh, informing them more details about uh, the conference and what is going, what type of projects and all these things. Mm -hmm. And these pamphlets will be held in the embassies. Uh, there in Egypt. The second thing, uh, the the government is um, is going to raise up more uh, facilities for this mm -hmm. uh, conference meeting to make it a great success. Uh, as you know, uh, we do have uh, two things, and economy is flickering right now. One of them is the dollar is moving up. And it's moving up not because we do have uh, a kind of uh, conflict or anything, because uh, the euro has gone down also. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, uh, Europe is going to do something about it because uh, uh, when the euro goes up, the dollars uh, go. Uh, sorry, euro goes down. The products of Europe are going to move fast. Mm -hmm. The American product will get freezed. So Americans will put, try to put the dollar down mm. as much as they could because they want their product to go up once more again. Mm. So inflation outside is reflecting on us. Uh, with the success of uh, this uh, conference meeting, I'm expecting that the Egyptian pound is going to be raised up back again to normal. Uh, today, it's a kind of uh, what you call uh, an appetizer for investors to come mm -hmm. because the, the, he, he gained with that before he started 4 or 5 percent mm -hmm. while investing in Egypt immediately. So that's a, a good sign. It's not a bad sign because lots of people think it's bad for, mm -hmm. sometimes it's bad for the people are uh, living in Egypt. But once the investment starts, this will go down and everything goes right to normal. So uh, Egypt economy uh, is going to, uh, after the, this success, uh, going to be something different. Mm. Uh, in spite of what is happening, political manners, what's happening there and here, uh, 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 President Sisi and the Prime Minister, uh, both of them, uh, they are focusing uh, on what is the future of Egypt. Mm -hmm. this, is the, this is the important part. And every one of us should think positive today. Yeah. Whatever happens, we are going to continue. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens, we will have a success. Mm -hmm. uh, Sisi is being challenged like Muhammad Ali. 1805, he has a challenge in 215, 2015. So I think he got a success mm. because the Egyptian wanted. Uh, so we have seen uh, last Saturday press conference concerning this uh, economic conference which will take place in Sharm el-Sheikh.
Cooperation of uh, the Prime Minister, the Minister of Investment, the Minister of International Cooperation, as well as the uh, Minister of Finance from, uh, uh, from uh, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates as well, which uh, were showing their total support for Egypt and its economic conference. So how do you see these moves ahead of the uh, conference uh, in Chamsheikh? Well, let's say something. Arab countries, and we are part of the Arab countries, we are supporting right now each other. Because it's not, uh, uh, it's not luxury. Yeah. Supporting is not luxury. And it, is, yeah, and it is not one is an upper hand and the other one is a lower hand. No, this is a win-win game. Yeah. So all of us, both of us, uh, Egypt and all the Arab regions, are investing in Egypt. They are brothers and they are continuing for their success. Because the success of Egypt is the success of the Arab. Mm. And the success of the Arab is the success of Egypt. Mm -hmm. So that's, this is goes without saying. Uh, when the Prime Minister made a visit to Kuwait, it's not saying to them, please come. He's, he's offering uh, um, the way of terms of investments, the idea, the concept, new projects, so he is encouraging, he's like a salesman. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of offer, uh, Doctor, um, uh, you know, what do you think these investors who are going to be taking part in this conference are expecting out of the Egyptian government in terms of guarantees, in terms of easing regulations for them to be able to um, enter Egypt, invest, and of course is it that usually investors uh, think about a lot before investing into projects? And uh, right before we went on, we were also talking about the um, human resources and uh, uh, the workers who are needed for any kind of the place, the workers, the raw materials. These are like primary stuff you need when you start thinking of investment in any country. What do you think the government has to offer in terms of guarantees for these investors? Guarantees, uh, any, any business have to have guarantees, which is normal whether you are in the States or you are in Europe or in Asia. So you have to have, the, the government is giving guarantees. One of the main guarantees is land. The government will support them with land, but on time lease. On time That's lease, just like uh, anybody else here in America. Yeah, it's, it will be so easy like this to avoid any conflict or any misunderstanding. Mm. So that's an important issue. The second thing, the government is trying through a um, uh, ministry of uh, 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 labor and uh, all these things to give the leaders a, a kind of a, a training for uh, developing their, ca their career because our labors are very good. You, the moment you train them and the more you update them with things, they are very, they are genius. Mm -hmm. They can do and they can... Uh, but they have a commitment problem. Committing to the job for a, is a serious problem for workers here, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, let me uh, say something. When you are, when you are sick, you are, you are, you are sick for a long time ago and you need to recover. Okay. Recovering is not one day project. So training, as you said, and as you, you're thinking about, is gonna start. We do wanna face some problems. Yeah, we, that's definitely, this is goes without saying. But these problems, we are going to solve it because the government wants it and the labor wants it, both of them. Mm -hmm. So you'll find somebody who's really uh, uh, unstable, which is the better word for him, but once he recognizes his benefit and his country benefit and his family benefit, he will recognize that the investor is coming over here to help him also and to help himself. So both are winning parts. So uh, uh, training is a, an essential part and the government is supporting this. Mm. And they have put something like almost 200 million Egyptian pounds for training programs in different categories, in different ways for uh, labors, Egypt labors. And that's an important issue. Thank you for this. Mm. 
uh, sir, before uh, going to, uh, on air, we were talking about the most important steps that should be taken in order to uh, have a successful conference, uh, about uh, the preparations for um, uh, giving the investors all the details that they sh should be having in order to come and know uh, what they are putting themselves on, uh, how they should come and invest in Egypt, uh, regarding the uh, information about investment uh, in uh, our embassies and consulate abroad, about uh, the uh, Egyptian neighbors here and about uh, the um, political environment in Egypt. So how can we provide uh, the investors with all these information and details ahead of the conference in order to attract more investors uh, who are aware of the real situation on the ground in Egypt? Uh, I hope that we have done this on the website. Mm. That's an important issue mm. because the investors, before he comes, he can go to the website and discover this, oh, and, that, and that's mm. a, that's the easy way. The second way is to have this in Britain to all embassies and send to them. Mm. So, in the embassy, if he missed any 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 information, uh, he can get it from his embassy anytime mm. because he is the first. Uh, place he's going to visit is his embassy. Indeed, yes. So uh, that's this is an, an, an important issue. Oh. <coughs> uh, uh, the government, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, is uh, is in need to uh, clear one thing for uh, the investor. Uh, please, uh, uh, you have to uh, verify your funds at, at the very beginning mm. because you, you can't say I, I'm going to make a project of one billion and you come over here with two million US dollars <laughs> and it's a joke. Yeah, indeed, yeah. So you need, the investors should verify their funds up front and say we are going to invest 100 million mm. so down payment is 40, 50 million will be into the national banks of Egypt, mm. whatever the yes. name they are. Speaking of uh, the system of how these investors are going to be starting off or kicking off with uh, investments in Egypt and um, uh, you know, choosing or the decision of holding this conference before the parliamentary elections. Now, if I may ask you on the, um, the positive uh, side of taking this decision, could it be, um, you know, bureaucracy in Egypt is one of uh, the major obstacles for these investors. Could it be that possibly the recommendations of this uh, of this conference would be carried on to the parliamentary uh, to the parliament after the parliamentary election, so that they would amend the investment laws to sort of. Um